Hey, what's up people? So in today's episode of Old School Knives, I don't want to talk about a knife, but a machete. And in fact, the only machete that my dad owns. Um, by the way, my dad is a farmer. And here in Austria, commonly, axes and big knives are much more commonly used than machetes. But this is the machete he owns and it's called a billhook machete or um, Gertel in German or Staudenronkola which um, basically the name already says that it's mainly used to cut brush but also it's very commonly used to debranch stuff like so so it's a debranching tool and you can see that hook in the front here is actually quite effective for that because you can hook material into there the um, thickness varies very much on this machete I think it starts with like uh, almost 5 millimeter blade stock thickness and then tapers down also the behind the edge thickness by the way this is a convex ground machete um, the behind the edge thickness is about 0.7 millimeters, which I will leave you the inches in the description box. Overall length is, um, I think, 40.5 centimeters with a 28 centimeter blade length. Again, I will leave you the inches in the description box. We have a stacked ladder handle. And we are out of focus again, right? Yep. Make sure we get focus here. Yeah, so stacked ladder handle. As you can see, tapered tang. It's some sort of carbon steel. I don't know which which kind of carbon steel. You can see it has some um, patina developing. Also, a little some marks of rust. And yeah. I, also, I forgot to mention the behind the edge thickness varies. Um, it starts here thick between um, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 millimeters, and then tapers up there in this hook section to about 0 0.5, 0 0.4 millimeters. So it gets actually very thin and slicey in there. And yeah, this sort of machete was very commonly used in the past. I think this design has been around at least since the Middle Ages, probably even longer. And yeah, back in the days farmers didn't have, you know, um, their own weapons. They mainly used what they had laying around, so forks and stuff like that and machetes, big utility knives were very commonly used to um, also defend their houses if necessary. And you can see that this machete is definitely also capable of doing something like that as well. Yeah, very simple machete. Um, I think it probably costs like 10 euros, which is, you know, very cheap and it holds up very well. I did some betoning in the past with it. The, um, here and there I resharpen it for my dad and it can be resharpened on almost anything, including sandpaper and, you know, everything that you got basically. So it's a very, very rough little tool, but still very, very effective and I will make sure to show you how it chops in just a second. Also you can see the guard up here is also made from leather so you cannot slip on the blade and then this stainless steel hook here um, prevents you from slipping off. No lanyard hole as you can see but the this hook here that's also covered with leather so to not hurt your finger if you do continuously work with this um, keeps you from dropping the machete out of your hand. You can also see the, let me just grab this like so, how the handle is shaped, so thick at the back, so definitely set up for chopping and not for cutting as much. Yeah, sorry for the wind noises by the way. Um, I will set the camera up and then show you how it chops. So as you could saw, as you could 
see a very effective chopping tool indeed and that hook just works extremely well for the branching stuff so that's everything for today's episode thank you guys for watching and have yourself a nice day